Okay, this is Project Centurion. It's named after a British tank. I'm British, and this uses a tank section in the circuit. And the whole idea is to get the most bang for the buck, you might say, for the lowest amount of power input. So we've got these four LEDs running, plus this watch circuit, from 1 times AA, and we're using just about there 5 milliamps on the 50 milliamp scale. So 5 milliamps input at 1.5 volts and we're getting this lot to run. Here's the circuit diagram, this is the main section here. And here we have a rather nifty feature if you want to run things like uh, watch circuits. And that is that you use an LED on one of the wires from the coil then you've got a smoothing capacitor and then out to the load. And that enables a situation where you'll never actually burn out that circuit. And I'll, uh, I'll do a demonstration of that in a moment. Right, so I've just taken the other coils out of the way there. You can see this running. I was a bit worried about the light actually, whether you could see what was going on. But there we are, and if I pick this up and down, you'll see the light, the LED, will get brighter and dimmer but the watch circuit will stay on and the watch circuit itself is basically using what it needs without being overpowered any excess goes to the LED so I thought that was quite a, an interesting thing and something to pass forward now it would be good if we could take some of that output energy and feed it back around into the circuit back to the power rails and we can do that what I've got here on myself is another 24 turn coil on one of the legs I've got a germanium diode and the other leg goes into the negative rail so we've got the germanium into the positive and the other leg into the negative and as you can see this LED isn't on and we're using about 4.8 milliamps however if I lift up this coil we get a very important part to do with resonance you can see that that light has come on got quite a distance there, a little bit of distance and we're actually using 4 milliamps so we've lowered the input by a milliamp there now you might think it's just my hand in the way might be helping it, so I've got this uh, little tube here of uh, electrical tape and what I'll do is I'll put that underneath and just wait a second though because it needs two hands so there we are, that's the electrical tape in place giving us the height such that the light is on and we're using the 4 milliamps another interesting thing I noticed was I, I put a 100 UF capacitor on the power rails and uh, <laughs> take the thing out of the way because it actually isn't needed there we are, we're still using the 4 milliamps now I've removed the electrical tape reel, I've put this plastic in its place and you can see that we've got just over two inches of the wireless range there and the thing is that uh, it all depends on the position of this or the coil, the one with the germanium diode on it because we're using also about 2.3 milliamps that's all and the positioning of this coil actually does matter quite a lot so if I move it around you'll see that light change in fact it does brighten in some places and it dims down there we are, it's actually gone off near enough there and comes back to there also the direction, the tilt, you can see they get quite a lot more brightness there and yet we're still about 3 milliamps so that's the kind of direction that I want to take this is to try and get as little current needed for as good wireless effects and all from just an AA okay Thanks for watching.